Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesdays. As I'm always your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with Star Wars The Black Series, Moff Gideon, from The Mandalorian Disney Plus TV Show. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews of more stuff, because I review more stuff. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And first of all, as we always do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. And first of all, we have Star Wars The Black Series. Nice big window showing off Moff Gideon. His little bitty blaster pistol. And the Dark Saber. Star Wars The Mandalorian, Moff Gideon, assortment number. Don't stick things in your pie hole! 4 plus, Hasbro. On the top, just a window and a hook. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print symbols I'm not going to learn, and a barcode. On the side, Star Wars The Black Series. The stripe continues around from the front. Just like a bit of window there. On the other side, nice artwork of Moff Gideon and a TIE Fighter. And Moff Gideon. On the back, some more artwork of Moff Gideon. The same artwork, just closer up. Star Wars The Black Series, Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon. Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Spoiler alert, it's Baby Yoda, Grogu. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. And he's number eight in Star Wars The Mandalorian. Don't stick things in your French pie hole. Small print, fine print, legalese print. Small print, fine print, legalese print. Disney print. Hasbro print, main China print, woo print. And that, my friends, does it for Moff Gideon's packaging. And now let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And let's start off with his little blaster here. has some nice details for such a small piece. Molded all in uniform colored plastic, which is eh, charcoal maybe. Not quite black. I don't know if you can tell it on the camera or not, but under my lights, in person, it looks not quite black. That. Then we have the Dark Saber. And I don't know. The blade looks like it might be a translucent piece with some black paint, or it might be a solid black piece with this. Um, clear piece over the top of it. And that's really what it looks like. Because you can see there's a little gap. Well, if the camera will focus, you can see there's a gap right there. So it looks like it's two pieces. And this is just slid over the outside of it. And it's glued, most likely, because it doesn't seem to want to move. But that's okay. It looks alright. On the hilt, 
about the details you'd expect from seeing it on the show. So there's that. His last accessory is his cape. Black on the outside, red on the inside, and there's a little post right here that plugs into his back. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's take a look at the figure without the cape first. So there is the head sculpt with the new face printing technology. And I have to say, this really looks like Giancarlo Esposito. Esposito. Uh, yeah, it looks like Giancarlo. He might try to sell you some meth and some chicken. In addition to trying to kidnap baby Yodas. Glossy black for his armor. And more of a muted black for the rest of his uniform. Except for the belt. It's got some red on the top and the bottom. The silver buckle and... You know, we got some paint in here, and then this matches the belt. So, nice sculpted detail throughout this figure. And again, that face sculpt with the printing technology. I mean, there's no mistake in this dude. Let's take a look at his articulation. He can look up that far. He can look down that far, which isn't a lot. Ooh, I got him chicken nicking. So now let's see. He can look down that far. And he can look up that far. After... I broke the paint loose on, on the neck. Also, he can do the full exorcist. Arms, 360 degrees of rotation at the shoulder. And as you can see, this shoulder piece, the armor shoulder, rotates with the arm. So, that's nice. It slides up over his shoulder. You get that much range up. And again, I already did the spin around. Single jointed elbow gives you more than 90 degrees. And 360 degrees of swivel at that elbow. Nothing at the upper bicep. Full 360 degrees rotation at the wrist. And it is on an in and out hinge. And the other arm is the same, except he has an up and down hinge there. Uh, there's a cut here for ab stuff. He can lean back that far. Forward pretty far. And it gives him 360 degrees of rotation. Nothing, nothing at the waist. He can give you that much of the splits. He can kick forward that far. Back that far. There is a cut at the upper thigh for 360 degrees of rotation. A single jointed knee gives you that much range of motion, just over 90 degrees it looks like. And there's also a swivel in there, and it will give you 360 degrees of rotation. So because of that swivel, nothing in the boot. Uh, ankle, down that far. Up that far, and a forward-facing pin for some rocker action. And now, let's... 
take his accessory and he has a holster right here but let's see it's a little itty bitty gun not quite as small as the scout troopers gun but if you can get it behind his fingers and then give it a little bit of a twist you can get his trigger finger behind the trigger guard and he can pew pew so that's nice and it does fit in his holster pretty snugly won't come out so that's good now let's see if we can get the cape on him there is a peg hole right there and as we noted before there's a peg right there and it's hard to see you do it but you can kind of feel it when it goes in there and it stays on there pretty good the only thing of course is it's a plastic cape and they stay the same shape so let's see and there he's holding the dark saber If I can get him to stand up with the cape on. There we go. And that, my friends, is a look at the figure and his accessories. And now, my friends, it is time for comparisons. And we'll take a look at him with some other Mandalorian figures. Here he is with Paz Vizsla. The Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. And here he is with Bo-Katan Kreese. Costco Reeves. The Mandalorian himself, Din Jaren, and this is the Din from the Target exclusive two pack. And of course, uh, as noted before, if you've watched previous Star Wars Wednesday episodes, Din has had his cape replaced with a cloth wired cape. And of course, can we have Moff Gideon without his ultimate prey, Grogu, a.k.a. Baby Yoda? And here he is with the Elite Squad Trooper from the Bad Batch. And how he... Oh, I forgot one. The Incinerator Trooper. How dare I forget him? He might set me on pie off. And how he lines up with... Or scales up with other lines. Here he is with Stan the Man Lee from... Marvel Legends. The Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe Classified.
And just for some seven inch goodness, here he is with the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond. They both like red capes, at least on the inside. And that, my friends, does it for the comparisons. For final thoughts on Star Wars The Black Series, The Mandalorian, Moff Gideon, if you like the show, and let's face it, who doesn't love The Mandalorian? If you don't love The Mandalorian and you call yourself a Star Wars fan, there, you know, maybe you need to seek some help. I don't know. That's my opinion. Your opinion may vary. This is a great, great figure. The articulation is pretty much what modern, well, all Black Series are kind of modern figures, but the more recent Black Series figures, the, the, the articulation is what you've come to expect. They try not to break the sculpt up any more than they absolutely have to. Uh, the accessories he comes with are appropriate. Uh, the cape, of course, you know, I really wish Hasbro would switch to soft goods, but wired soft goods and not just some cheapy see-through soft goods like normal. And, of course, I understand that would add cost to the figure, but... Uh, it should not be much cost added to it. Pennies on the dollar. But uh, you cannot beat the face sculpt and, and the, the paint on the face. I mean this is uh, this is this is Giancarlo. You, you cannot mistake that this is Moff Gideon. And like I said, he looks so much like him, you might expect him to sell you some meth or buy some meth from you to sell or lock you in a basement to make meth or give you fried chicken, sell you fried chicken. Hopefully no meth in the fried chicken. Hopefully I haven't said that so much that it flags me and kills this review where I have to redo it. But, that does it for the review. Thanks for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope it's all of them, available for free on my channel. Wink, wink. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel by watching. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, and there's lots of them. Gonna be lots more. Dropping every day, except the weekends. So there should be something for everybody out there. Unless you're like me and you just like everything. Don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap. That didn't come out right. That's a wrap, folks. And I'll see you next time.